So it's officially my favorite time of year. I got my first fire in the wood stove. It's still September, but the weather's dropped and it finally feels like fall is here. And I was thinking of uh, uh, making videos and I've always got like three or four on the go. And uh, one of them that I've been meaning to make is if you want to talk about building your own travel trailer. And what I mean by that is I've been contemplating for a year or two now to do a kind of a live stream question answer um, sort of thing. And I just don't know quite frankly if I have the audience that is interested in that or it's something that you would want to do. So I guess my question is would you be interested in a live stream and uh, kind of talking to me kind of in person obviously uh, through a chat online but kind of uh, real time and that way I can kind of answer all the questions that I get regarding the trailer build. So um, that's kind of the main reason why I want to do this video and uh, kind of give some feedback on that. So please um, leave a comment um, and if you're not comfortable leaving a comment email me at scottadrenalinventures.com I'm just looking for some feedback and, and I really want to know what um, my audience is looking for and that is it something that's worthwhile doing. Um, so that's the first thing I want to talk about in this video. And then since we're talking about building your own trailer and some of the questions you might have, I thought in this video I would kind of discuss some of the challenges that I've come across now. Um, you know, as you've been following the channel, I think I'm into 20 some episodes of the trailer build. And when you first start building, it's very exciting going from the metal frame and then putting up the walls. And I would compare it to building a house where the most exciting time is when you go from, you know, ground to suddenly the roof's on and it seems like there's been all this progress so quickly and then it seems like, you know, you don't get to move into your house for months and months, right? Because that's all the time that all the small little jobs, the tedious jobs are getting done. And that's kind of where I have got to with the trailer build. Um, I'm working on uh, installing a backup camera. I've been on some trips and it was always a priority and I have the truck, uh, had the truck at the dealership and now I just got to uh, fine tune the camera on the back. There's a grommet here. So this is what I'm going to have to rewire. This is just temporary install and what I'm going to have to do is run this through. I'm going to have to cut a hole in the bottom of the trailer and run this through the um, wall directly behind here. Come out, use this grommet somewhere around here. Problem is with the trailer, the very center is a uh, support beam. So that is something that's got to get done before I can finish the inside wall. So I would really like to get this wall done so at least when I film it doesn't look like a construction project. There shouldn't be any more wiring that needs to get done on the very back wall except for the rear view camera which is basically going in there. So um, I'm, my plan is to hopefully get that installed and I can start to actually um, complete the walls and at least you can see what my plan is for the interior of the trailer. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be nice to have something. I'm getting tired of looking at the styrofoam and the wires everywhere. Um, trust me, but there's just so much to do. You know, the wiring has taken me much longer than expected, so uh, the wiring video is coming up um, soon. And the most popular video that I've been asked a lot about is the what's this cost. So I am working on that. That's a tedious video because I want to give you all the details of all the little things that you might not think about if you're thinking about building your own trailer and what's that going to cost. So that's coming up in the future. But currently right now, as far as an update goes, um, I can't believe that we're almost into October. So I had some projects that I was expecting to get done uh, well before the winter and now I'm kind of in panic mode where um, I have two solar panels that I've been meaning to install and been trying to do it and I'm just waiting on some racks. So um, one of the next projects that I'm waiting on hopefully to get done before the snow comes is getting solar panels installed on the roof. They're going to be on each side of the uh, Max Air Fan that I have up there. And um, because everything's custom, I just can't order a, um, a roof rack or anything else. So I've got some ideas on how I'm going to install the solar panels, but that is uh, hopefully my next project. Um, if you watch the other video on how not to build a travel trailer, um, I have some issues that I'm sorting out right now underneath. So um, I'm currently uh, kind of taking the rust off the frame and going to be recoding that. So my plan is to get these spaces underneath the floor uh, between the 2x2 uh, metal framing. 
I want to get those filled in with uh, spray foam, so I'm looking at that before the winter time. Um, the floor definitely gets cold. So some spray foam insulation I think would, uh, would solve that problem and I believe it would be durable to kind of hold up to the, uh, the highway traffic. And I think once I get the um, frame kind of re-coated, I believe the spray foam should probably be another uh, protection to the, the frame as well. So that's got to get done. And again, um, I'm hoping to get uh, a axle, custom axle made and swap it out. I took Eddie to um, a weigh scale um, on my way to the dealership the other day, and he's certainly uh, about that 3,500 pounds, you know, empty. Having said that, empty with the the new batteries in there and the kitchen and all that stuff. But no, not like I've loaded up in the past where I kind of just use this as storage on a trip and throw stuff in here. Um, so I, I'm quite confident that I'm breaching the 3,500 pound uh, threshold of the axle that I have on there. So that's a priority. I need to get that done. Um, so um, I've been you know, kind of researching that and talking to companies and hoping to get that done soon. Because in February, I've been married to my wife for 25 years and we're gonna celebrate that out in Utah. So my lovely wife is gonna fly out there and I am driving Eddie all the way from Southern Ontario to Utah through all the uh, wonderful states down there through Colorado into Utah we're gonna explore down there and live out of Eddie uh, while we're there so I was hoping to get as much done as possible and make it as comfortable as I can for a romantic 25 year anniversary and at this rate it's not looking uh, like a very posh um, accommodation but luckily for me my wife's uh, pretty low maintenance so um, it's being together, it's the adventure that really matters, so uh, we're really looking forward to that. But I do wanted to get this done, and I really wanted to get the shower done, but I'm not thinking that's going to happen either. So I guess the moral of this video, the moral of the story is that uh, it's going to take a long time to build your own travel trailer. And I am retired and working at this full time. This is my full time job. Uh, in addition to being a, a dad and raising a family and, uh, and doing all that great stuff. But uh, the kids are getting older, so I do have a lot of freedom to, to work on it, and my wife's working, so um, I got no excuses. I got some free time, but man, uh, life's busy, and it is really hard to get things done. So if you're thinking of building your own travel chair, you've got to factor that in. It's going to be a long time. I've been at it for a year and a half now, and the interior of my trailer still looks like this, and I am dying to get it done and I still can't seem to uh, get the progress that I was hoping for. Because progress is slow when you're working in the shower. Uh, probably a big echo here, but there's a max air fan that needs to go in here. I recently installed one above the bed in the back of the trailer. I'll show you a quick clip of that right now. And that's just one example of how time consuming every little project seems to be. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. I really hope that you got something out of it. It's just a fun video, but I really would like to hear from you. If you want me to do a live stream, I really need some feedback um, because it's a little complicated from my end, so I want to make sure that it's worthwhile and enough people will be interested and watch it. So please leave a comment. Please contact me somehow so I know I hear your voice because my community on my channel I really take serious. I try to respond to all the comments on my channel as best I can, and I really love hearing from you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.